الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ما بعد فعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أدعو إلى سبيل ربك بالحكمة والموعظة الحسنة وجادلهم بالتي هي أحسن وقال أبو بكر الصديق رضي الله تعالى عنه أينقص الدين وأنا حي My dear brothers and sisters, I am going to start with a story from India. In India, there was a reformer. His name is Allama Shibli Nu'mani. Maybe many of you know him. He died in the year 1914. And he's one of the founders of Natal Ulama and many, many educational projects in India. And he was a big reformer. At the end of his life, he lost one of his legs in an accident. So he could not walk properly. He could not actually move. The people have to help him. It is a story 125 years from now on, actually 1900 something. A small group of Muslims in India, somewhere very far away, they left Islam. They became Hindu. Very few people, not many, many people. Some people left Islam and they became Hindus. The news came to Shibli. Shibli became so much upset that so, you know, he could not eat a drink properly and he said, let me take me to my brothers. I want to see why they left Islam. What happened to them? I can't eat, I can't, I can't live my life. Unless I meet them, I see what's happening to them. And then that actually made him to change the curriculum in the ulama. And he made obligatory that every student, they must learn the language of their people, Hindi, Sanskrit, even English, all those languages. So people know really how to relate to the people. So you see this old man who cannot walk properly, Few people in India, somewhere, they live Islam, and it makes him so much upset. He cannot stay in peace. He wants people to take him, and India is a very huge country. Thousands of miles to take him, to go there and meet those people. He cannot walk. Now, actually, Hamza has been telling how many people are leaving Islam. Actually, you know, so many atheists in the world. Nothing happened to us. What difference? We are young people. Most of you are here young. But people live Islam. People don't worship your Lord. People don't know their creator. People don't even want to know him. Actually, people want to reject him. People want to, uh, to become his enemy. And we don't feel anything. You know, if something goes wrong to our job, or eating, drinking, we become so upset. If we don't find the food that we want, we become angry. If we don't have the peace that we want, we become angry. People don't worship their Lord. They don't know the creator. And nothing happens to us. And we are young people. Reason really is that we, life, life has changed. We don't have purpose in life. Actually, one of the Abbasid poet, Abu Nawas, he mentions about young people of his own age, that what they think. You know, he says in one of the poetic verses that you know, these people think, إِنَّمَا الدُّنِيَا طَعَامٌ وَشَرَابٌ وَمُدَامٌ فَإِذَا فَاتَكَ هَذَا فَعَلَى الدُّنِيَا سَلَامٌ Dunya is just eating, drinking, wine, if you don't have drinking, eating wine, then we don't need dunya. We don't need to live here. Young people, only concern is to eat and drink. This should not be really. And then I'll tell you another poetic verse by Iqbal, that how he describes our young people. That we don't feel that we have, a func we, have, we have a function in life. We have purpose in life. But what happened? Just eating, drinking, and rest. So he said to young people of his time, Tere sofe hai afrangi, tere qali hai irani. لَهُ مُشْكُو رَلَاتِي ہے جوانوں کی تن آسانی امارت کیا شکو ہے خسروی بھی ہو تو کیا حاصل نہ زورِ حیدری تجھ میں نہ استغناءِ سلمانی تیرے صوفے ہے فرنگی The sofa that you use at home They come from French, from France They come from Europe تیرے قالی ہے ایرانی Carpets you use in your house They come from Iran, from Persia لَهُ مُشْكُو رَلَاتِي ہے جوانوں کی تن آسانی I weep with blood Blurs come in my eyes when I cry that young people are so, so comfort, comfortable life, so easy life. Young people just want to have easy life. You want to be rich, even if you become kings and masters of the world, nothing can change. Because your life is just eating, drinking and resting. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, when you listen to the stories, other people leave Islam, you should not enjoy the food. You should not rest really. There was Abuqa Siddiq in his time, some people refused to pay zakat. 
and Abu Siddiq want to deal with the problem properly, and all the campaigns opposed him. Nobody wanted to support him. What he said, historical sentence. Ayun Qasuddin wa Nahi. Is it possible that the religion is going to be decreased and I'm alive? When I'm alive, it cannot happen. Me, I am there, it never, never, never can happen in my lifetime. My dear brother, sister, every one of you should take in your mind really. If this, if people leave religion in my life, it never can happen. I will do everything to stop people from that. If we don't have this attitude, people gradually will leave Islam. And it's certainly really that people who follow obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will become very small minority. It's our duty, we must take some action. What some people think really, when people leave Islam, as Hamza actually said very nicely, many people think it should be a rational you know, uh, ground. That's what we think. Many of us we think if people leave Islam, debate them, defeat them, they will come back. Nothing will happen. If you defeat them, they're not going to come back. You know, debate is there in Islam, but debate for a very small purpose. I tell the story of debate in Islam. The debate basically is from the story of Ibrahim al Islam. The king of the time calls Ibrahim al Islam and asks Ibrahim, Who's your Lord? Ibrahim said, My Lord is the one who gives life and death. The king is stupid. He said, I can give life and death. Ibrahim understood properly the problem. Ibrahim wants to tell, tell him, Live life and death, really. One small component of life is the light. Can you bring the sun? My Lord is the one who makes sun. He brings the sun from east, bring the sun from the west. For Bohet and Ladi Kafar, this king who was an unbeliever, he became speechless. He could not speak properly. Debate in Islam means that if somebody argues with you and you know the problem, then within one sentence or two sentences, show him the weakness of the argument. If you cannot show it, and he can answer back, and then you answer back, then he answers back. It is useless, fruitless, it is not going to serve any purpose. It is going to actually harm you and destroy you. That's what people do. It is just basically a mental exercise. People want to engage in something which has no purpose, no end at all, no prophet, no messenger ever enter in such a debate, which is going on. Actually, what happening in debate, I'll tell you. Most audience, in the, when they come for debate, most audience, their knowledge is very little. The people who debate actually, those people whose arguments convince them more, actually are the people whose arguments are not strong. Because people don't have knowledge. So what they convince by actually not by knowledge, by something which can, which can actually in, make impact on their mind. It could be ignorance. It could be something actually not true. But they carry more influence by that. Sometimes people are more influenced by the wrong people rather than by right people. That's why debate is always hard. For. Second thing I should think really, okay, are we going to wait people until they become atheists, then we debate them. What rest of the people? What are we are going to do for them? How are we going to keep them in Islam? And how are we going to make them to worship their Lord? Isn't it our duty to teach people how to worship their Lord? We should teach them. If people are not atheists, still they need really some help. We need to think about that. That's why the Quran said, Udu ila sabila rabbika bil hikmati. When you call people to the path of your Lord, don't debate, don't argue. Al-Hikma. Hikma in Arabic language means that strong statement which is based on the nature, on the fitra, and on the reason. If something supported by reason and fitra both, that it becomes stronger. Hikma, muhkam, very strong thing. That how the prophets have been doing. When they call people, they call people with those statements which go deep in the nature, which go deep in the mind. They address the fitra and the mind at the same time. That the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And same thing in the Quran. From beginning to end, end. Quranic argument and Quranic statements, all of them, they're based on the fitra and the depth of the nature and the mind. When these two go, they go deeper in mind of the people, really. That's what we need to do. We need to teach people the Quran, how they understand the Quran. They, we need to, need to teach people how to understand the nature of fitra. Because as you know, I understand really many times. People don't think, they have no, no time to think. We need to make people to understand the fitra, to understand the nature properly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not need proof really. Allah is more obvious than anything else. Anything you see in the universe, the obvious, Allah is more obvious than that. People know their mother and father. People should know their Lord before they know their father and mother. He is more deep in you than anything else. 
you depend upon him your job you need salary and then after that maybe you don't need your job allah you need every moment when i'm speaking every word from my mouth comes because of him when i'm standing every energy comes from from him when i move i walk because of him every single movement every single thing in my life depends upon him we can't speak we can't drink we can't talk without him a child depends on the mother he recognizes the mother we depend on our lord more than the child depends on their mother still we don't know him still we need proof for him argument for him we can't connect the people to their lord we can't connect the children to their mothers it reminds me the story of an you know, indian film star you know, one of the those people you know actor once he said to a child young child i you know i'm so rich i've got you know so much money in my account i've got such a nice car such a big palace i've got so many things what do you have you know what the child said i i have my mother to him his mother is more precious than anything else my dear brother sister every believer should say i got my lord dependence upon him knowing him being with him makes us so important we should think really power comes from him energy comes from him we can't relate ourselves to our lord we need proof reason really we did not teach people properly if you don't teach people what who their mother son father are they will be ignorant people need to learn that and in the quran just i i mentioned you know few things from the quran how the quran is argumented the quran actually never never makes any rational argument to prove allah actually truth of the matter really is in this world when you use a mind to prove something most often if people don't understand fitra they can corrupt the argument they can impress people they can influence people but with corruption people who are right and those who are wrong both have got a rational argument and both of them influence you know if somebody wins a rational argument it never necessarily mean that he is right he is true it never means really it just means he has got more skill how to manipulate the mind of the people that the people do think really when i follow something when i understand something what happens really how do you know this thing how really, how do you know something right when somebody make argument something right then how you think really he is right what makes you to understand that it's right think about that is if you don't know right or wrong if you don't know truth somebody makes argument what makes you to think that this person is right his argument right think really most people don't understand this thing, what happening there's something deep in your nature if you don't have that nature it never can happen somebody can prove something without that being nature you never can know right and wrong that what we need to understand really how our nature feels what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala somebody ask one of the great uh, scholar abdul rahman ibn hatim rahimahullah ta'ala about a man who said araftullah bil aql wal ilham i knew allah because of my mind and because of inspiration he said man qala araftullah bil aql wal ilham fa huwa mubtadi'un those people who say we know allah because of the reason or because it's inspiration he has got bid'ah in mention the religion is not right arafna kull shay'in billah we know everything because of allah allah makes us to know allah makes us to know everything that why we know everything comes because he has made us to know knowledge does not come from nowhere it is coming because he made the knowledge deep in our nature we know everything because of him somebody asked the nuna mr rahimullah taala bimadha arafta rabbak how did you know your lord qala araftu rabbi bi rabbi i know my lord because of my lord he led me to himself he made me to know him you know tell ask a child how do you know your mother he knows his mother by his mother he sees her that she actually looks after him she loves him she cares for him she wakes for him all the night a child never has any proof for mother child knows the mother if his mother is among millions of the women he will know who his mother is because he has got this attachment this connection with the mother because she cares for him she loves him she does everything for him our lord does everything for him we don't know him that why the quran start the first verse of the quran actually is not to prove allah what quran said 
الحمد للہ رب العالمین کھائیں کہ ہم نو ہز فیورس ہز فیورس اپان یو اور مور دین دا فیورس آف یور مدر مور دین اینی فیورس نو ہم بائی دیٹ سو این نو ہز مصر الحمد للہ سید آر آف تو ربی بے ربی آئی نو مائی لوڈ بے کز آف مائی لوڈ اینڈ دین ہی سید ولا لا ربی ما آر آف تو ربی ہیڈ ناٹ مائی لوڈ بی دین آئی نیور وڈ ہیڈ نور مائی لوڈ مائی لوڈ عبد الل رواح رحم اللہ تعالیٰ ہز گریٹ کمپین اینڈ پوٹ ایز ویل ہی سید و اللہ لو لو اللہ مہ تدین ولا تصدق نہ ولا صلین بائی اللہ اف اللہ ہیڈ ناٹ بین دیر وی نیور وڈ ہیو بین گائیڈیڈ وی نیور وڈ ہیو ڈن اینی صدقہ اور چیریٹی آف پریئر اللہ میڈ اس ٹو ڈو دس تھنگ اندر پوائنٹ سید قالو تینا بے براہین فقول تو لہم انا یقوم علی البرحان برحان دے آسک می برنگ پروف فار اللہ آئی آسک دیم ڈو یو نیڈ پروف فار دا پروف اللہ از دا پروف اللہ از دا برحان یو نیڈ برحان فار ہم ہز اے ڈیپ ان دا نیچر یو ڈونٹ نیڈ ٹو پروف اللہ یو ریئلی جسٹ نیڈ ٹو اریز دا ہارٹ دا نیچر میک پیپل ٹو ریمائنڈ دیم دیٹ وائی قرآن ریمائنڈ پیپل بٹ لسٹ ہیو سو مین ڈفرینٹ ویز فی طرح بائی پرابلم وین پیپل ہیو ڈیفیکلٹی دے کم ٹو دیئر ٹو نیچر برنگ دا پرابلم تو سم ٹائم اسٹرک دا مائنڈ سم ٹائم ریمائنڈ دا بائی دا ڈیتھ یو گو ٹو ڈائی یو یو چیلنج اللہ ہو یو آر سم ٹائم اللہ ریمائنڈ دیم ویر یو کمنگ فرام فرام ڈراپ آف دا واٹر تھنک ہو یو آر تو ریمائنڈنگ یور ریئلٹی ریمائنڈ دا اینڈ آف دا لائف ریمائنڈ دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ اور دیر ان دا ڈیپ ان دا نیچر تو مائی جیت ہے بردر سسٹر ٹروتھ آف دا میٹر ریئل از دس پرابلم کین بی سالوڈ بٹ دا وائی از ناٹ ریئلی ٹو ڈبیٹ اور ٹو فائٹ اور ٹو آرگو دا پیپل ڈبیٹ دا وائی وے از رائٹ وے ٹیچ پیپل اباؤٹ دیئر لوڈ میک دو دا مدرساد دو دا اسکولس دو دا کالجز ویئر پیپل گو اینڈ لرن پراپرلی ویئر دے ایکچولی کین میک دیئر مائنڈ ورک پراپرلی دے کین تھنک پراپرلی دے کین انڈرسٹینڈ دیئر نیچر دے کین ریڈ دا بک آف اللہ سو ہوتا اللہ اینڈ دے انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ اٹ مینس ریلی دے ہیو لو فار اللہ اینڈ لو فار آل دا پیپل دے وانٹ ٹو بی گائیڈیڈ اینڈ دے وانٹ ٹو گائیڈ ایوری بڈی ایلس ان کیمری اسلامی کل دیٹ واٹ می میکنگ افرڈ ریلی وی وانٹ پیپل ٹو بیکم تھنکرس دے یوز دا مائنڈ قرآن سید دوز پیپل ہو ڈونٹ یوز دیئر مائنڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو میک دیئر مائنڈ ڈرٹی قرآن سید وہ جال الرش سے الزین اللہ قلون دوز پیپل ہو ڈونٹ یوز دیئر مائنڈ وی پٹ ڈٹ آن دیئر مائنڈ وی مسلم سے نیڈ ٹو یوز دا مائنڈ دیٹ ایکچولی بیسک بیسک چیز ان دا قرآن دا سو مینی بکس ان دا ورلڈ بٹ نو بکس ریپیٹ اینڈ آسک پیپل آٹ دا ٹائم تھنک انڈرسٹینڈ ریمبر نو بکس سے سو مچ پیپل رائٹ دا بک دین یو انڈرسٹینڈ بٹ نو بک ریمائنڈس یو تھنک انڈرسٹینڈ یو نو ریمبر ایز قرآن ڈز ان ایوری سنگل پیج قرآن کی سنگ تفکرون تذکرون ادبرو تھنک کنٹپلیٹ آل دا ٹائم اینڈ دا پیپل ہو کیری دس بک دے ڈونٹ یوز دا مائنڈ ڈونٹ تھنک دے ڈونٹ میک ٹو دے وانٹ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ وی نیڈ ٹو اللہ سو ہاتھ از گیون مائنڈ ٹو تھنک اللہ ہیز میڈ اس ان بیسٹ اسٹرکچر اینڈ پارٹ دا بیسٹ اسٹرکچر دا مائنڈ مائنڈ دا موسٹ نوبل تھنگ دیٹ پیپل ہیو بین گیون موسٹ نوبل تھنگ اینی ہیومن بین ہیز بین گیون از دا مائنڈ اینڈ در قرآن سے لقد خلق نل انسان فی احسن تقویم وی کریٹ دا مائنڈ کین ان دا بیسٹ اسٹرکچر وی گیو دا مائنڈ دے کین تھنک اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈ بٹ تھنکنگ انڈرسٹینڈنگ یوزنگ دا مائنڈ از دا موسٹ ڈیفیکلٹ تھنگ دیٹ وائی قرآن سے ان ادر ورس لقد خلق خلق نل انسان فی کبد وی کریٹ دا مائنڈ کائنڈ ان ہارڈ شپ بیس اسٹرکچر بٹ ہارڈ شپ بیکاز دس بیس اسٹرکچر مینس یو کین ناٹ ریسٹ یو مسٹ ورک ہارڈ یو مسٹ یوز دا مائنڈ یوزنگ دا مائنڈ از دا موسٹ ڈیفیکلٹ تھنگ دیٹ واٹ وانٹ یو وانٹ ان دا کالج ٹو ٹرین پیپل ہاؤ ٹو تھنک ہاؤ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ ڈونٹ ایکسپٹ سم تھنگ بیکاز سم بڈی سید آلویز میک ایفرٹ ٹو میک دا مائنڈ نالج ٹو بیکم انٹرنلی یور نالج یو انالائز دا نالج یو پروسیس دا انفارمیشن یو تھنک اٹ از رائٹ اور رانگ یور مائنڈ شوڈ ایکچولی میک میک کنکلوژن ود سم تھنگ ٹرو اور سم تھنگ فورس یو میک ایفرٹ دس نالج امپورٹ ادر وائز اف ریلیجن از ناٹ ٹوٹ ود وز ود ریزننگ ریلیجن ول بیکم کلچر اینی ریلیجن اف دیر از نو ریزننگ بہائنڈ دیٹ نو ریشن آرگومنٹ ریلیجن بیکمس جسٹ اے کلچر اینڈ کلچر ایزلی کین بی لیفٹ بہائنڈ اینی بڈی کنچر پیپل ہیو کلچر فرام پاکستان دے کم ٹو دس کنٹری دے لیو اٹ بہائنڈ ایوری ٹائم پیپل آر ریڈی ٹو ایکسپٹ نیو کلچر اف ریلیجن بیکاز کلچر اٹ ایزی ٹو لیو اٹ وی نیڈ ٹو میک ریلیجن ایز ریلیجن اینڈ ریلیجن اونلی کین بی ریلیجن ود تھنکنگ بیکاز ریلیجن از بیسڈ آن ایمان اینڈ ایمان مینس 
to use the mind. There's no iman if people don't think. Islam is based on iman, on iman is thinking. To my dear brother, sister, that's what we want to do. We don't want to make teaching superficial. We want to make teach, teaching deeper, in the, deep in the mind. When iman goes deep in the mind, you can take out the skill of the people. You can kill them, but you can't, not, cannot take iman. Iman never can be taken out. What can be taken out is the culture, not iman. We want to create the iman. Unfortunately, most Muslims, they don't have iman. They belong to iman. They belong to Islam. Their Islamic identity, but not iman. Iman is not identity. Iman is not actually belonging. If you belong to a community, you are not a believer. If people be belong to Muslims, they are not believers. If you are born in a Muslim family, they are not believers. Belief only comes when it becomes part of their mind. That's why the Quran said about Arab Bedouins, قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا Arab Bedouins say, we are believers. Say, you are not believers. You only belong to Islam. Belong not religion. Most Muslims in the world, they just belong to Iman. They, they have identity. They are not mu'min. They are not believers. Belief comes with thinking and mind. This is what we're doing really. And now we're doing our part to teach people. You need to do your part. Wake up like Mawla Shirin Nomani. Wake up and don't rest until this call is established and you can have a future for your children where they can come and learn and they can be connected to their Lord. You need to work hard. This is why we are asking you that make support and tell you the story. When the Prophet left Medina in Hijra, Makkah, and he came to Medina, he needed some support. He came to Medina. Muhajini are there. Then the Prophet said, everybody here, they need to support. You know what Ansar did? They said, actually, if you have got two houses, one house for Muhajir brother. Our money, half money go to Muhajir brother. Every single thing, half go to them. Even some of them said, if you have got two wives, one wife to them. So they said, no, no, we don't want your wives. You know, this actually how they want to make sacrifice. And the Quran says about these people, they prefer other people over their need, even if they have got very urgent need. Still, they prefer other people. To my dear brother and sister, you have got actually a chance to support. And when you support, Allah will give you the same reward as for the people who are working there.